Mike Bowers. I'm talking pictures this morning with Chris Taylor from The Chaser. It's been too long since it we has talked been, pictures. It's been far it too has. long since we talked pictures. And, and, and what have you been doing? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. I've just been waiting by the phone <laughs> waiting to talk pictures with Mike Bowers. <laughs> Both sides of politics have been taking a very hard line on refugees um, and it seems like uh, most of the cartoonists think they're all in the same bloody boat, maybe. Um, <laughs> Peter Nicholson's got the tags hanging out of these. Apparently we wear these and we get treated humanely. And I do like his, uh, his Chris. It's a, it's a beautiful little Chris. Isn't it? Yeah. It's very good. And he's got the uh, the Julian nose going very yeah, well. Yeah. Look, this is this is right on point. I think this is uh, this is uh, really good. Beautiful little Cadelga. Are you sure this is going to be humane? You should try a focus group out in the Western <laughs> Sydney sometime. Yeah. It, this is the point, isn't it, Chris? It's this, so much of this stuff seems seems like it's focus group driven. It's great. This is really great, I think, because it's, it's sort of got to the heart of the issue that politically speaking... Julie Gillard and the Labor Party are getting, you know, such a hard time in the polls and, uh, and, and the politics of this is sort of haunting them. Chris, uh, David Rowe uh, um, compares uh, the plight of the refugees with the plight of our uh, brethren in the Northern Territory. I hear Malaysia's nice this time of year, uh, obviously referring to the fact that, um, you know, They'd rather actually be treated, uh, taken to Malaysia and released, basically. It's, it, I, I think this is actually a, a rather brilliant cartoon because I know a lot of um, cartoonists and satirists have been linking the livestock yeah. story with the refugee story, but to link uh, the Aboriginal ones, a nice original take. And it kind of is, when you talk about human rights issues, this is always the forgotten agenda. Um, look, uh, it struck me, Chris, that if you're going to travel all the way to the Northern Territory to embrace Aboriginal culture, you truly should embrace it. And I think Julie can get away with it, whereas previous Prime Ministers probably couldn't. John Howard would have looked more awkward. Yeah, than, much more. Than, than Julia in this. I still reckon it's weird just to go up and hug random people. Now, I'm not going to presume what the relationship is. I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe they are related. They don't look related, but maybe there is something. But if you just went up and started hugging a random person... Randomly... You get away with it with babies. You've got to admit, though, it's hard to beat imagery like this for, for how it plays down south, I suppose, with us, you know, city, city slickers. Mm. Bob Catter and his own party, the Australian party, and uh, I did feel this had sort of a historical feel to it. It was almost the, you know, mm. Martin Luther, I have a yes. scream! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, yeah, I think it's also historical. It's the only photo in existence of Bob Catter not wearing a hat. Yeah. Um, well, he's hard to recognise without it. Well, I didn't know that was him. I thought it might be Bill Kelsey. Or... <laughs> Look, here he's got the his hat's hat back. Here. The hat here, is back. Here, here he's got his hat here. And it? now the world order yeah. is restored. Yeah, yeah. And I'd like him if he made his deputy the hat. So yeah. if, if he was leader and that, just the hat was sort of doing a lot of the decision making yeah, yeah, yeah. in cabinet, just the two of them, yeah, him, the, the, him, him and the hat, hat yeah, all those in favour, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think this is probably a. Uh, is this the new party caucus meeting, or is caucus only refer to the ALP? <laughs> Does it, are you saying it takes people under the age of 10 yeah. to have the same intellectual rigour? Never. And, I and, I and inquiry. I, I would never, ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is, again, um, it's not classic Catter, because the hat has really the been has, shunted been off to one, off one side, side, and that's no place for Catter's uh, hat. No, no. The hat, it belongs hat belongs on the head. It belongs on a head. Yeah. It doesn't deserve to be shunted off with in paperwork on the, on the side. Well, Chris, it's time we uh, put our hats on and ride off into the sunset. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And would you like to do the honours? I would love to. Back to you, Barry.